Hey guys, it's uh, Larry Coleman here. So my name is Kid Guru. First off, I want to say I'm recording off my desktop. If you're, you know, if you're a regular viewer of mine, usually I recorded the laptop, but that's the coin pad. But it's not here today. Reason being, well, it was here, but my dad is using it at the store, and he won't be back for another 30 minutes or so. And in the meantime, I thought, you know, I've always been meaning to install the Logitech software on my Windows XP machine, that way, uh, kind of like a backup, because I usually install my videos on my laptop, but I can store some extra space on my XP machine. The only reason I haven't been uploading using the XP machine in the first place was because it sits more better on the laptop, that's one, and, um, and uh, you know, it runs quicker, much, much quicker with this, though, I mean, it's not built through on this, it's like not quicker, just that it installs quicker because it's much more, f my disk is much more free. But then my my desktop has two gigs and my laptop has one, and I still have eight. I still have 135 gigabytes free left, so I still have a whole bunch of gigabyte space on here. And so, uh, I've been meaning to install it here so I can store videos here, make new ones for my laptop's not here. So I have an alternative if my laptop's not here because my desktop's not going anywhere, of course, because you know you don't bring that around. But uh, so, just in case, you know, I can always install it on here. And I can even stream off here if I wanted to. I have the dri the drivers and stuff in all installed, and you know, so now I can upload to YouTube without the laptop. But usually I use the laptop. I'll still be using the laptop mainly to do my videos. It's just that for now I just decided I should install it on here, just so I can install it on my desktop and get videos through here, videos stored on here as well. So, anyways, guys, today's topic, uh, I you know, with that one minute and forty two seconds off, uh, Mac versus PC video editing. Well, I've talked about stuff like this before, you know, Movie Maker, iMovie, and I'm in the video productions class, uh, and I've just started, like, uh, I just started, like, a week, maybe two weeks ago, and, uh, because it's a new elective, and basically, we've been talking about video editing, and we had to learn Movie Maker, stuff like that, and, you know, uh, he, our teacher showed us some videos, and a lot of the videos I noticed, you know, this is not only in these videos, but a lot of movies, stuff like that. Uh, most editors are using an, uh, are using a Mac. And, sorry, I, forgot, I got a sneeze here. So, they're using a Mac, you know, iMovie, especially iMovie. And so I've even saw some, you know, for stuff like Final Cut Pro, if they have to get more intense for ads, commercials, and stuff like that. And, you know, it's just amazing that, you know, majority of these, majority, like the video I saw today, the kid was using an iMac G4, it was an old video, but he was using the iMovie software, and he's talking about how, he said, for example, today we're using, we'll be using the Mac, Macintosh computer with uh, software like the iMovie, and iMovie, you know, it just, look to me, it's loads better than, uh, than uh, Movie Maker, you know, granted, Movie Maker, one good thing I like about Movie Maker, I can easily load up my videos if I need to save them easy easy fast but you know it's fast but it can get bulky and slow down especially with XP and then Vista that's what they tried to really improve was to see if you know you imported it and bulked up the library and stuff like that that it wouldn't go so you know so slow and they did a decently good job but they didn't add much uh, you know effects and stuff like that transitions they kept it kind of basic and I know it's only a free editor that's on there but you know iMovie is great it's packed bundled with all that stuff and, uh, you know, I think that Microsoft could have done a much, much better job with Movie Maker on Vista, adding a lot more, you know, they do accept, I think, of HD now, but you can have done a lot more, you know, with, uh, much more effects, new transitions, even new feet, if you could, new features up into there. So, you know, they could have done a better job with, uh, Movie Maker, like, uh, like Apple did with iMovie. And even some people even prefer Sony, Sony Vegas. Vegas is a great editor, from what I've seen, that what it's done. So you know, a uh, majority of video editing is done on a Mac, and that's a, one of those facts out there. A lot of the video editors out there use a Mac or an Apple computer. You know, whether it be the iMac. You know, a lot of them use the iMac because it's less clutter stuff like that. Most of them are using iMovie or Final Cut if they really need to. You know, professionals out there, even kids out there. So, you know. Movie editing is very important, you know, the editors are what makes the movie, you know, they make the cuts, they make the scenes, they make the transition, they make the transitions, they work what they got, with, with what they got, and they can change angles, they can, you know, they, they make the movie what it is, and I thought this was an interesting topic, because, you know, with 
PCs in general, they use Movie Maker Windows, and Macs using the iMovie, you know, the iMovie is just, you know, much, much more advanced than Movie Maker. It's easier to use, nice interface. That's something Windows should really concentrate on, making a new interface. I know they said that they didn't want to get users getting, you know, lost, but, you know, they can make a new interface, make it better without, you know, getting the viewer lost in the the movie maker, but, you know, make, add more effects, stuff like that. You know, I have to go into forums to actually get stuff I need, like green screen, blue screen effects, stuff like that. You know, you can add those type of stuff in. You know, Apple has their stuff built on the photo booth for that type of stuff when they want to generate their own background or stuff like that in photo booth for a cool effect. You see, you know, their graphics, you know, they, a lot of people complain on gaming and stuff with the Mac. Well, you know, if you, Macs aren't most Macs aren't meant for gaming, but they could be with the OpenGL. OpenGL, and a lot of people, in their opinions, much better than DirectX. But a lot of people like DirectX, DirectX for Windows, because uh, Windows, of course, started out with the gaming, and Microsoft has a lot, a lot of money just to, you know, make deals with those, you know, made for Windows games, but uh, made made for Windows. But uh, you know, if, with OpenGL. World of Warcraft, they did some tests on that. I've talked about this in past videos. Doom, they did tests with that game in OpenGL, and they run fast on a, you know, really, really fast and efficient on the Mac. And, you know, if you give uh, the graphics a chance in the Mac, uh, it's, it's really great. And I've seen a lot of people use a Mac Pro as an awesome gaming rig. That thing can store up to now 32 gigabytes of RAM. You know, that's a lot of RAM. I even, I, 10 is a lot of RAM, 4 is a lot of RAM. You know, um, can you imagine 32 gigabytes of RAM? Well, like I said, you know, movies, a lot of, uh, they're using Apple computers nowadays. I've seen MacBook, you know, Nickelode uh, Nickelodeon, all those other channels out there I've seen on TV when I'm flipping through, uses uh, the Macs, the movie, the Hulk, you know, they use, they use the Macs in there. A lot of movies just main, most, uh, even, uh, I believe, what is it, most, uh, I read a fact, I forgot what it was though, but I think it was like, well most videos you see, you know, King Kong, stuff like that, were made on a Mac, and, and you, and, uh, what's the other, Zodiac was made on the Mac, Mac, and you can just see how great the, you know, editing is, and, you know, how everything is with Final Cut and Ex Express Pro, whatever they use, Final Cut Studio is a great package released by the Apple, you know, and I forgot what it was, but there was a thing that, like, most, uh, something was made on a Mac, but I forgot what it was. I don't want to say, I don't want to say, uh, I, I wasn't going to say movies were made with a Mac. I think it might have been movies. Well, I know a lot of movies were made on a Mac. I don't think it's movies, but I can't remember at the moment. Ah, not sure. And even if you see, you know, com some commercials out there, stuff like that, you know, Apple is innovating the way, and, you know, their Macs are great, especially their software. So, I just wanted to talk about a little bit on that topic, and if you want to reply, sure, go ahead. I want to know what you guys think about, you know, Mac and video editing in general. Are you, you know, you, it's, you can just, you know, is it great for you? Is it easy to just plug and write going in? And, you know, what people love about the Macs nowadays, they have the built-in eyesight, so people can just record off that, import it into iMovie, and, you know, edit it from there and upload it. So, what do you guys think? What's your, what's your uh, favorite way of editing? Is it through Movie Maker? Or is it through, uh, you know, iMovie? I know I grew up with Movie Maker. I had to learn Movie Maker. And, you know, uh, I just wish Movie Maker could add more. And I, I would wish they upgrade that in uh, Windows 7. But, anyways, uh, I don't, oh, that's, another, that's a whole other topic. But also, I've tried out iMovie, and it's awesome, guys. It's leaps and bounds better. Uh, to me, anyway. Anyway, so, guys, what do you think? Leave a comment, leave a video response, whatever it is. Even leave me a message. Anyways, guys. Thanks for this. Uh, thanks for watching this uh, episode of Macaroni's PC. Uh, I'll talk to you later.